on VFX simple VFX um, we're gonna start with color correction so I'm gonna throw on curves and 0.5 and then I'm gonna put on color to three-way for this about there halfway up the yellow and then put that in the blue and um, I'm gonna throw on color reversal we don't really do much with that and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like so far so that's what we've done so far three effects so it's pretty nice we're gonna put on shoulder and now we're gonna put on sometimes you can use a vignette but we're gonna do that later in a different thing so we're gonna put on a diffusion we're gonna put that about five and then we're gonna go on here and go on to hue and saturation Turn it down to like 85, and then we're gonna go to pop and turn that up until it looks a little bit too sharpened. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with 30. No, I'm gonna go with 40. Yeah, 40 is fine for this one, this clip. And then now we're going to put on after shake I don't know why I did it in this random order but this uh, I like putting this above the color correction so like that and after you, you see that that's gonna keep showing up like it's gonna keep um, it's gonna keep rotating into that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it up 105 and that shouldn't pop up anymore and I like to put this at about I just like to keep it the way it is depending on the clip, we use that just keep it the way it is. And um let's not forget R S and B. I'm gonna throw on R S and B before all of this because it acts up a lot if you don't put it before other effects. And on COD I usually go with about 0 0.6 and 45. But this is skate and um in skate there's a lot less movement than in COD because in COD you do like 360s you turn around um there's a lot of hud but there's not in this so i like to put the motion sensitivity at about 100 and then keep the blur amount at 0.6 and then after that we're going to put on we go here to effect you're going to need um sapphire for this so you're going to put on sapphire stylize and film damage And see what that's gonna do is first things first, we're gonna turn it is lagging. I will be back when it responds. It is responding and I'm back, so turn the green amp all the way down. And then this is like destroying my computer right now. Well, not actually making it slower, but this is gonna take a little bit longer to render, so I like those settings right there for um for the hairs and the scratches. Uh, I don't really like the dust or the stain. So I just turn that off. And what we're gonna do is I like to turn up the Vignetti. So I'll go with like 0.5 on that. And then the flicker. You don't want a lot of this because it looks really bad if there's a lot of it but uh... I'm just gonna let you mess with that yourself because that's a lot of messing around with so there's my VFX right there I may have left something out, I don't think so, let me check uh, I don't think I've left anything out so uh... that's my VFX um... it seems a little bit dark but that's because it's because of the flicker Turn that off. That's how light it really is. So, and if you don't like how how dark it is, you can always turn up the diffusion or whatever you want to do. So that's my VFX tutorial, and.